What do you do when you get tagged to do a video by the person you were gonna tag to do that video? Hey everyone, today I'm doing the Shakespeare book tag. Uh. This tag was created by Kara from Wild Book Garden, who was kind enough to tag me. And I also got tagged by Steph from Steph OK. You can click the card or the link in the description to watch Kara's original video. Let's jump right into it. Question one is much ado about nothing. Your favorite bickering couple whom everyone knows really care about each other. For this, I decided to go with Richard and Dor from Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. I absolutely love this book. As you can see from the state of this copy, it is dreadful. <laughs> if you don't know what Neverwhere is about, it's the story of Richard Mayhew who moves to London with his girlfriend Jessica. They walk out of the apartment one day and Richard finds a bleeding girl on the sidewalk in front of him, decides to take her home and help her and ends up in London below, which is a whole new city that he didn't know of. And it's creepy, it's magical, it's everything you could want. That girl on the sidewalk is Dor. Richard and Dor are constantly arguing, but then they're like, oh, but actually we like each other. And then they're arguing again. And then, you know, it's a great friendship. I love it. Question number two is measure for measure. A book whose plot or genre is really hard. Neverwhere just dove off of my shelf. Question two is measure for measure, a book whose plot or genre is very hard to explain to other people. Now this took me a while, but I'm gonna go with The Ancestors of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley, mainly because this is probably the book on my shelf that is the furthest back that I read it. If we go by when I read the books, this is probably the oldest on my shelf. It has been a hot minute since I it's been a hot minute since I read this book, so obviously I don't remember much of the plot, which makes it obviously hard to explain, but it's also kind of all over the place. I remember there's Stonehenges and a flood and an earthquake. It's weird. Question number three is A Midsummer Night's Dream, your favorite book featuring fairies or elves. Now shout out to Steph for reminding me that Inkheart has pixies in it, because no, there's no fairies or elves, but they have these, whatever the heck they're called in English. In German, they're water pixies. So I'm counting that into fairies or elves. Question four is Hamlet, an underutilized female character. So for me, that would be Alana from Evelyn's Quest. If Steven is watching, I know that Alana has her own trilogy. I need to read it, I know. But within Evelyn's Quest, she's definitely underutilized. Big shout out to Pierre Botero for noticing that and giving her her own book series. Question number five is the sonnets. Choose your favorite poem. Now I have three for this. In English, my favorite poem is probably Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice, is also great and would suffice. Let's pretend that I didn't just read that out of Eclipse. And the other two are German slam poetry. I love slam poetry and I love it in German. It's just something that I didn't expect to like, but I do. One of them is the One Day Slash Reckoning text by Julia Engelmann, which I've linked in the description if you want to listen to that, if you understand German. And the other one is the Liebesgedicht an den Norden by Mona Harry, because... yes. Which I've also linked in the description for you. Now, um, honorable mention for the French slam poem in Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart, which I can't think of what it's called. I remember that the artist is Grand Coeur Malade, which is a French slam poet. I just love that whole sequence. It chills, always the chills. Question number six is Richard III, a protagonist that will do anything to get what they want. I am going with my OG Slytherin girl, Jazz Parks from the eponymous series. I love the Jazz Parks books. Jazz Parks is a CIA agent who hunts vampires with her boss, Bale, who is a vampire. If you like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or if you like Dracula, or like James Bond types of stuff, this is the book for you. And Jazz is really that person who will stop at nothing 
to get to where she needs to be and get to where she wants to be. Question number seven is Antony and Cleopatra. Your favorite trope that you still haven't found that perfect book for? And for me, that would be LGBTQ plus magic. I love magic. I love queer stuff. And I would love to see them combined. I know Carry On is a thing and I have to read Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, but I still haven't gotten to that yet. And also, one book isn't gonna satisfy me. I need more. Also, Loki mentioned to a book with a purple cover, because I don't know if you can see my nice rainbow shelf. It's lacking some purple, like severely lacking. Question number eight is Titus Andronicus, a book by a popular author that you wish more people would read. And for me, that is Lesser Than Fan Fiction by Chris Colfer. Lesser Than Fan Fiction, Lesser, Lesser. I know that this is like a bestseller, but Chris Colfer is mostly known for his Land of Stories series, which are children books. I need you to read it. If you're watching this and you haven't read Stranger Than Fan Fiction, I need you to read it. Question number nine is King Lear a complex female villain or anti-hero. Now, obviously I can't go with Aza Holmes from Turtles All The Way Down because Steph already did that. And I had to look a long time to find something, but I am going with Vassar Spore from Autumn Cornwell's Carpe Diem. Vassar is a real smart student. She wants to get into Spore College, I guess. She's going on a summer trip with her grandma, who is the most chaotic person on earth. And Vassar is this very almost OCD person. <laughs> so she's the hero of the story, but she's also the villain of the story. Question number 10 is The Taming of the Shrew. Choose two polarizing books, one you hated and one you loved. For the one I hated, I'm going to go with Surprise, surprise. Wachstumsschmerz by Sarah Kuttner. If you want to know why, or any of these books actually, if you want to know more of them, I put all the links to my reviews of them in the description. And for the book I loved, I am going with Unwind. Beautiful. And for the book I loved, I am going with Unwind by Neil Schusterman. It's just such a great dystopian trope and I love it. And number 11, is give me your hands if we be friends, tag some people. Now I was going to tag Steph, but Steph already did the tag and was actually tagged by Kara, which I didn't know. And Steph also tagged me. I actually looked at Kara's video and into the description to all the see all the people she tagged. And the only booktuber I could think of that wasn't in that list was Steven Alf from Alf Books, so you're welcome, Steven. You're it, I guess. Anyhow, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any recommendations for any of these categories that I should read, put them in the comments. If you wanna see more of me, then you can subscribe to my channel up here, or you can subscribe to my other channel where I talk about mental health here, and you can click here to see a video that YouTube thinks you're gonna like. And I will see you again next Wednesday. Bye. Jazz Parks is a CIA ad, a